all right so in this video i'm going to show you how to add a table to your canva design so if you have been thinking of how to add a table you don't have to start drawing those lines individually and start putting them in a grid so canva has a feature that allows you to add a table to your design just like it is with uh, microsoft word and just like it is with excel by default so what you have to do is to use the button when you open your canva dashboard you click on create a design so we're going to create a new design from scratch let's just use a custom size i like to use a custom size i'll use 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels right Okay, as usual, first things first, we will name our design. We'll just call it convertibles. Call it convertibles. And then we'll just, um, let's let's add a heading text. So add a heading. We'll just call it um, names of people and colors. All right. So this will be the head, the heading of our table. So we we'll just have it here, and then to add the table, we would come to elements, come over to elements, and then you will have to search for tables. Just search for tables. yes so you you see it these are the tables we have in canva so these grids are the these ones are just images and normal elements so these grids at the top are the tables i am talking about so if you just want to have them um individual um cells you you, you can click on this but if you want to have a heading in your tables then you can use this so these are just the the different styles and the different colors that come by default so we'll use this because we want to have a heading so we'll click on this and then now this is the beautiful thing about the table you can click on each cell and then you can customize each cell. you can choose the background color then you can click on the entire table You can choose the color of each of these lines. You can customize the color of everything and each of them. You can, and then you can shift it, each of them, the width and all of that, just like you can customize everything with um, PowerPoint, I'm sorry, with Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. Okay, so we are going to add names. So we'll click here and then we'll, we'll add, let this be names. And that's very small. We'll mark it and then increase the font from 12. All right. So we we'll need names and then here we'll say color. This 35 I'll make this 35 also and then here okay we'll put age here and then we'll put color here favorite color here so put fave And then here we can have age. All right. This is good. I would like to add one more. Yes. And then this is perfect. So the name. And if the, 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 the first row will say the name there is John. And then take, for instance, John is 17. 
and his favorite color is blue and then the other name is mary and then says mary is 26 and then her favorite color is white and then we have we have gift gift is 24 and her favorite color is gray and lastly we have prince and then prince is 37 and the favorite color is black right okay so we'll now increase the the, the, the size of this font so we'll just click here and then you can click on this to mark the entire row then you can click on these three these three dots to mark the entire color so what we'll do we'll do it this um one row after another we'll click on this and then we'll come here and just increase the font to 20 20 is good enough or we'll make it 22 and then we'll, 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 we'll click on this also yes and increase the font to 20. we'll do the same for the rest exactly this is perfect so you can you can change the color of um the text background for each of the cells so take for instance we want the the, the heading this name's age and favorite color we want we don't we do not want it to be pink we want it to be um something else so we can choose the color we can choose gray we can choose something lighter than that all right i think this is good enough okay and then the lines the color of the lines are still pink so what we'll do is click on the table click on any any part of the edge of the table and then you come over to this grid here the border so you click on border and then you change the color we need it to be black very black all right so oh that only affected this we needed to click everything All right, so come over here and then change everything to black. All right, that goes. So here we go, here we have it. This is how to add a table to your design in Canva. So you can export your table just as you export every other design as a, as a PDF, as, um, a, as, as a JPG or as a PDF, as PNG or as PowerPoint file. So that is it.